guys, Celestial Piper here from Soldier of the Watch. So um, I was on the internet and I was looking at different news stuff that's gone on and um, came across some stuff I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm doing my daily, hey, how y'all doing, right? My Piper peeps. So um, if anybody watched the um, Super Bowl last night and caught the halftime show, you would know that Maroon 5 performed um along with a couple other individuals that I don't I don't know who they are because I don't listen to that kind of music um but uh Adam Levine they had an article on him and I thought it was funny so I just want to start it off with this so they were saying that his um tattoos on his body and they specifically said his um Did they say it was um they said it looked like a chipotle bag <laughs> his tattooed torso resembled one of their signature paper bags <laughs> said it looked like a chipotle bag i just that's terrible um i don't know about his um torso looking like a chipotle bag uh but uh, the amount of tattoos that he had on his torso was pretty impressive. Um, and I can't help but to notice the types of tattoos that he had on. First of all, he had two big eyeballs. One was over here, and then the other one was up here. Um, the one over here had that real nice little rays coming off of it, if you know what I mean. So I'm our uh, money uh, and I'm just being careful with the words I'm using um, so there's a lot of uh, symbolism certain kind of symbolism on there and um, it was interesting because at one point when he was on stage there's all this fire going on around him and then right there on his belly says California maybe I'm reading too much into that I don't know um, uh, he's got a butterfly down here. Can we say MK Ultra? Again, maybe I'm reaching. So, um, yeah. And I'm, I'm looking at a Chipotle bag. I really don't like, oh, well, maybe. <laughs> Let's move on. This is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, uh, some serious news. Um, and this is upsetting. Uh, so we, I talked to you guys about the the new bill that they passed um, in New York, which you probably already knew about, um, in regards to uh, being able to abort a baby in the third trimester, all the way up to birth, um, full term. So apparently in Virginia, um, Governor Ralph Northam defended the proposed abortion bill in Virginia and um, that allows a pregnant woman to abort her child up until the moment of birth by taking it a step further. Basically, what they say in this is that, you know, the baby will be born and stuff and they're going to keep the baby comfortable. And then while the parents and the doctors discuss whether that baby gets to live or not, they'll make the baby comfortable. In fact, if the baby needs to be resuscitated, they'll go ahead and resuscitate the baby, make it comfortable, and then decide whether it lives or not. <sighs> Read more about it yourselves, guys. But this is just disgusting. This is disgusting. Who are we to decide who lives and who doesn't? You know, the Bible talks about calling good bad and bad good. And this is just one of many things that we're seeing right now as the world gets darker and darker and darker. And this is why it's so important for us believers right now to be the light that we are supposed to be, that we're called to be in Jesus Christ, Yeshua we are supposed to shine our light. Remember, you've heard me say that before. Shine our light so that they can see our good deeds and know it comes from our Father in heaven. But a lot of us believers, and, you know, I honestly feel convicted to a degree in myself. You know, we're, 
we're not speaking up and speaking against this stuff. We're being tolerant. We're not to be tolerant of this. We're complacent. We do our Sunday thing. We go to church, keep the seat warm. And then we go on the rest of our life like, okay, blah, 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 do whatever the heck I want. This is wrong, guys. We're supposed to be speaking out on this stuff. Doesn't the, you know, they talk about freedom of choice. So you have the right to decide another life's, you know, if they should live or not. Excuse me. Sorry, had to shut my dog up for a second. So, so, so that, that baby has no rights whatsoever. Oh, my son. <laughs> So we can just go ahead and say, okay, well, you know, that baby has no rights at all. So we'll just go ahead and say, he can die. Yeah. Or she can die. That's just, it, it, it makes me sick, guys. So with that, I had some scriptures that um, it made me think of because, like I said, we call evil good and, and, and good evil. This is craziness. So in Isaiah... 520, ignore the growling in the background. They're excited because um, my son is home. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Do we not see this going on right now? And it's getting worse and worse and worse. So, sorry, my dogs are misbehaving. Um, so that's Isaiah 520. Um, second Timothy four, three says for the time is coming when people will not endorse sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate themselves teachers to suit their own passions. And we see this in the church today. It's all about tickling people's ears. They want to hear stuff that's going to make them all feel warm and fuzzy and nobody wants their toes stepped on. We need to be convicted guys. That's how we stay being good is good and bad is bad, right? The problem is, is the church is not the light that it's supposed to be. We are supposed to be the light in Jesus Christ to the world so that they see our good deeds and know it comes from our Father in heaven. You've heard me say this before. We should not be tolerant of any of this. We need to be speaking out as believers in Christ. Um, 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 4 Um says, but understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unpeaceable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving, good. Okay. See that, that, that mix up going on. Treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. It also goes on um, to say further on to avoid such people. You know, we're accepting this stuff. Romans 12, 9 says, let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. With that being said, um, desires of your heart. This morning I had a coffee mug. And the coffee mug says that he will give you the desires of your heart. But it leaves off the beginning of it. Now, mind you, I really like that coffee mug, okay? Um, a friend's mother gave that to me, and I love her to death. I call her mom. <laughs> but Psalm 37, 4, the, whole, the full thing says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. It's not so much about what we want. What it means is, is we really should be desiring what God wants, what he desires for us. You get what I'm saying? I think the way we are in the world today, it's all about having it your way and what you want and how you're going to be able to get this and that and the American dream and all this wonderful stuff. And do we... Ask the Lord, do we come to the Lord each and every day seeking his face? Because that's what he wants. Are we approaching him, desiring a relationship with him like he desires with us? 
if we did, if all of us truly did, then this world might not look like it does right now. Granted, all we're seeing right now, we're living in the days, guys. We are seeing exactly what scripture has foretold these times would be. But with that, I want to leave you guys some like good stuff. Um, one last scripture, Matthew 6, 21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now, I know I just got done telling you about that stuff in Virginia with abortion after hearing the thing in New York. And it, it looks like silently this is going on in a lot of states. But I do want to give a shout out to these states who um, are not only against it, but they are defining what at that unborn babies are people. Okay. So here's a list. Alabama, um, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. Alabama, Arkansas, uh, Idaho, and Illinois, Kansas, Kentucky, Mississippi, Oklahoma. I got a girlfriend in Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Louisiana and Missouri. Now this says, thir oh, there it is. Michigan is the 13th one. I just want to say bravo. Really wishing I'm seeing my state of North Carolina in there, but not as, not yet. Um, either that or they're on the train with the, the, the rest of the inhumanity right now. But um, what we can do is we can pray. We can pray and we can speak out, guys. Okay. The, these babies are people. They're not a blob, okay? And it's just wrong. But um, I did want to give you some good on that. So there is, there's good stuff going on. And then I'm going to leave you with this funny. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I, when I saw this. Universal Studios Orlando has a new character in one of its theme parks with a particular set of skills. Now, after I said that we should love what's good and all, I'm going to leave you with this funny, but I couldn't help it. Guy Diamond, a troll from the Trolls animated movie, has a well-defined bare bottom that not only farts at guests, but it fires off glitter when it does. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you'll be informed of new videos for those of you that aren't subscribed to my channel. Um, make sure you also hit the like because that helps out a lot. And um, share this video if you think that um, it will bless somebody, convict somebody, <laughs> whatever it is you feel that would be good. Um, guys, I, I really would like to be able to spread the light of Christ to others. So I love you all. Peace out. God bless. Until we meet again. Your um, Celestial Piper, Soldier of the Watch. And don't forget my email, www.soldierofthewatch. I'm not www. I can't. I'm not talking right today. <laughs> Soldierofthewatch at gmail.com. I don't have a page yet. Um, and then I'm on Twitter and Facebook. Love you guys. Bye.